we're here by the velodrome uh, with the Peugeot and also the Alfa Romeo. Ollie's just doing a little bit of uh, work on that. Um, but today's uh, video is about um, what's been going on with the Peugeot, a little update uh, on things that have been done to it so far. Um, cosmetic, not really any interior yet, uh, mainly mechanical stuff really. Um, but yeah, it's actually nice and clean today. It's looking quite nice, sitting quite nice. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the vid. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy. Call me an Ollie mechanic because oh, look, we've got we've got blood, got blood, oil, oil, but a lo working light. Yes, success, Ooh, great Christ. success. Cool. Okay, so I've had the car a few months now, probably three, four potentially, um, and I've spent a little bit of money on it, getting it up to um, a bit better state. Most of it is mechanical, um, but I've done. I've got a little list here. All right, so oh, look at this list. Ooh. Interior wise. It still looks like, uh, it looks really good other than the seats basically, but I need to get a quote for them to be retrimmed. Uh, excuse us, it's a little bit dirty, but interior wise, uh, yeah, that's it, that's all I need to do. Um, I've actually had the door hinge, it was doing like a click. It still needs a bit of WD40 in there, but it was going click, click, click before, so I fixed oh. that. Um, I've also, the sunroof was leaking from here, so I replaced the washers here. Um, and that's just a known fault with 205s. Um, so exterior. Uh, one other key part that I've done is, we'll probably do like a before and after, but these, these B pillar uh, sections here fade really badly. Um, and I'll put a little before photo here. Pinch. Quick little eBay fix, that's, that's done. Um, back boom, new, polished a little bit. Um, the, this rear bumper, I, I've got, uh, a 205 GTI bumper in grey. I need to get it resprayed and fit on this because this is a generic 205, but that is next on my list of things to do actually. So I think what Tom is trying to do is get the car back to OEM spec, aren't you? So yeah, pretty much as standard as possible, really, as clean as possible. So it's just, I, mine's gone a bit different, mine's a bit more modded, I think. Yeah. Fair to say, but yeah, Tom is doing a bit more OEM. Yeah, definitely. The uh, left rear indicator wasn't working when I bought it which was a bit of an issue, but I did the old take it off, jam a screwdriver in there a little bit, and then it seems to work. So probably want to check that every once in a while, but just dodgy old wiring, I guess. Uh, in the post, I've got some uh, OEM fog lights. They're not exact OEM, because you can't get the original glass anymore. I'm getting quite nerdy here, <laughs> but they're um, they're like for likes in terms of housing and stuff. They're called Denji. They're like as close as you're going to get to real ones. So as you can see, that's rusty. It's as, uh, as anything down there, so that's that. So I've actually had four new tyres on it. Um, Michelin Pilot Sport 3s, are they? So um, which I think is probably the best you can get for it. It's quite gricky, actually, <laughs> it's quite fun. Um, it's so chuckable, isn't it? Yeah, it's chuckable. Um, I've had uh, new timing belt, water pump. I've had this fella here, a new fuel filter. Um, I have had, let me go to my list. I've had the, the underbody the lines were rusty, I've had them brushed and oiled. I've had the exhaust tied up. I've had a new clutch cable. I've got two new suspension arms underneath because they were pretty rotten, like 30 year old suspension arms. So new ones are them um, with new um, tie rods. I've got a new air intake pipe, which is silicon, um, because that was full of holes, which isn't good. But if you come here, this, I reckon I might need to get a new one of them soon to start to deteriorate. It's rubber, it's gonna happen. It's an old item. Uh, I've got, I've had a new pump on the washer. Um, I've had an oil change and an oil fil filter, General which is service. Generic, generic kind of stuff. Yeah. And I've also had a new, engine mount here because that <laughs> wasn't actually connected so I was only running with two engine mounts which is not ideal um, so yeah I think that's pretty much everything mechanically that I've had done to it if you probably t tally all that up the most expensive thing I had done was the um, suspension arms which was like three four hundred quid 
but I don't think everything in total it's probably come to like eight, eight, nine hundred quid, maybe grand tops, which I think isn't too bad considering all the things you got done there. I don't think you could have all that done on an Alfa Romeo for that kind of price. <laughs> A few bits that I want to keep doing to it. One of the main issues at the minute is that on a cold start it's a bit lumpy and you have to give it some revs before uh, it warms up a tiny bit so maybe only for like 20 seconds if that but I think I know what it is it's a it's a sad valve <laughs> some air some I don't know all the, the forms are really good for 205s but I think I might either get that out clean it up and try again but other than that it's uh it's pretty good I want to get I need one of these because that is meant to be shiny and chrome and nice. You're not, like, you're not liking the blacked out Peugeot vibes? It's, it's, it used to be shiny and silver, <laughs> but obviously it's old and new. Um, and then uh, suspension wise, it's got quite new dampers, but I don't know, the springs look quite old. I don't know if you can see, probably can't. Um, so I, I need to probably look into that. Brakes and discs are, are, are well, brakes. Yeah, brakes are final round, they're quite new. Um, to be honest, there's not a lot left to do on it. Interior though, that's gonna be a big one. That'll probably be a fair few hundred quid. You might start catching me up then. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. Oh, and also under, under the bonnet, it's a little bit. A li shut up, dog shut trainer, up. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> under the bonnet, you can see it's, a, I've done a little bit of work. I could do a little before and after shot there as well, bam, bam, but, um, I would like to tidy it up a bit more because it's a little bit, some of the areas are a bit chipped, a bit dusty. I could have a few items um, re-sprayed and stuff. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good though. It looks for a 30 year old car. I think she's looking all right, isn't she? She's okay, so Ollie has just promised he's going to give me a hand replacing these fog lights, right? Okay, so we're pretty shit um, mechanically. Uh, but I reckon we can do that within well, what four or five hours. If we can, <laughs> it took us forty-five minutes to replace a, he a headlight, a headlight bulb on the Alpha. So get yeah. some fog lights and put some new ones I might in. Have to raise it up a little bit. I don't know. But mm -hmm. um, and I think we'll also have to rewire. I don't know what the, the oh, terminology is. Oh, two thousand with a solder nine. So there you go. There you go. Have you got one? No. Euro car parts we love those. I'll tell you what, that is a blessing. What we'll do is we'll do a little time lapse. We'll set up a camera and uh, we'll do a little time lapse of when we're So that'll be, that's them. the next video anyway. Or we could do it at the end of this one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. uh, if you guys have got any advice um, on what I should be doing to it, um, yeah, let me know. Just watch this space here yeah, because I reckon this is going to be a rather tidy example. Cheers guys.